what is going on guys we're back on another video and of course we finished all of our regular rebuilds fantasy uh style realistic style so we're on to a reload right now and this is of the texans who have a legit chance here to become a dynasty and that's what we're going to try to do today this is uh coming off of a fresh win over the falcons of the super bowl of course for some reason if you leave a league for too long and you don't advance it it just loses its save file i don't know how that works but this is the team. It says, quote-unquote, a realistic rebuild. I have no idea, you know, who started with what dev, you know, what overall anyone was at when they got traded. I don't know. But, of course, we have Deshaun Watson as a 99 overall here. Looking pretty strong. I'll put it that way. Defensively, uh, Tyron Matthew is you know, kind of on the lower tier. Harper, great corner. A couple of good uh, linebackers. McKinney, surprisingly, lower than Zach Cunningham. Two safeties are okay on their way up. So, definitely a legit chance, especially considering it's like 2019, to go for a dynasty. Might be the best team in the league right now. So, obviously sets us up to potentially win another one soon. So, with this one, we'll at least do two years. So, even if we win and become a dynasty, we'll at least do another season afterwards. But the goal is to win a dynasty or become a dynasty within the next three sims so if we win if we lose here and the next season we make it to the playoffs and win then obviously dynasty so i guess really two years is our, our limit kind of we'll we'll see where we're at so lamar miller 86 overall he has finally regressed i mean he's okay but is he really worth keeping i don't know the way I look at it is the Texans do re-sign him a lot in Madden. But that's a really hard regress. Like, elusiveness and trucking is so bad on him. We're going to let him go. We're going to let him go because we have Mark Ingram anyways. We have Deontay Foreman. You know, you don't take a guy like Foreman if you don't at least have doubts. Uh, Foreman was actually looking pretty good too. So Foreman might be the starter for us. See, oh my god. Do we have the money for Jalen? You see right here, we made a good decision to let uh, Lamar go because we have a better Lamar here. If we're really going to pay someone, we would pay Duke Johnson. And they're very similar style backs as well. Is Jalen worth going for? The Broncos are the front runners at the moment. I mean, that's a very fair deal for the best cornerback, undisputedly, in franchise. Like, it's not even a question. Jalen Ramsey is the best. I'm going to give this offer. I think we have the money to pull it off. I mean, we have 24 mil left over. I mean, why not, you know? I mean, at the end of the day, who do we have to worry about? Deshaun Watson is really the only guy. Maybe J.J. Watt get a little too expensive. His team got rid of Boye a couple of seasons ago, so... Saving money up over the next the last couple of years allows us to get an even better player, ironically, his teammate. Should be on our team, right? Accepted. Gave him a little bit of extra offer just so uh, he would sign with us. I mean, if we weren't already a Super Bowl team before, which we were... We're definitely one now. I mean, Jalen Ramsey and uh, whoever that cornerback is, Harper, two great players. I mean, look at this Harper guy. He's, <laughs> he's like Jalen Ramsey 2.0. He just doesn't have the man or zone coverage. It's close, though. Much faster. This is a really good quarterback. A late first round that this... Wow. That good of a late first rounder. That's really impressive. Look at this guy. Seventh rounder. We're definitely drafting him. How come, like, I swear to God, the drafts used to be so good. Like, after we sim this season, I bet you the draft's going to be so terrible. The The drafts used to be that of a dream. Used to be so good. So I don't know if we need a big man like this, but guy looks pretty talented. Looks like a can't-miss player, in my opinion. Call me crazy, but I honestly think one of the biggest needs of this team is probably a linebacker. You know, McKinney's all right, but he's not going to get much better than where he's at. Like, you really have to do some user damage with him to get him good. I don't know what it is, but McKinney does not usually develop well as an AI. I mean, looking at this team, man, like I said, linebacker, maybe safety. Oh, that guy is slow as hell. Let's take a look. Maybe, do we need a DT? Oh, yeah, we do need a DT. Yes. I'm happy because we need that guy, and he won't be hard to get. I mean, if I have to trade... Ooh, I forgot about running back, actually. Totally forgot to, like, try to fight for that guy. Once again, Mark Ingram, pretty much the exact same player that we let go in Lamar Miller. But running back might be a position we have to take a look at now. However, who's even here that's okay? I don't think there's a good running back here. We might have screwed ourselves a little bit. 
Hopefully there's a good free agent. I don't know. 428. Look how fast that guy is. This guy's really fast too. Actually probably faster. OJ Creighton looks like a, another can't miss player. I don't know if this coach had like expert scout package, but holy crap, it seems like I have so many like scouting points available to me. Let's take a look at the training center. Maybe there's a corner or a running back in here. I don't know. Jamal would be all right, I suppose, but I don't know if it's really even worth trading for him. Deontay Foreman's probably like the same overall. I wish I would remember damn Duke Johnson. I remember Jalen and then I totally forgot about Duke. This running back's all right, but is he really worth a draft pick? I don't know. He is very fast, though. He might be. If we have two draft picks, two first-round picks, even if they're both really bad, we'll go for him. So what is our draft? I mean, surely we at least have a first round. We have number 32. All right, so number 32. Not quite what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something else as well. Try to make it as realistic as possible. Number 32, 65 this year, and number 57 next year to move up 16 spots. So unless teams like take a running back and they don't need one, I mean, there's really no need for me to even trade into the first round, but we're going to go to 21 just to make sure. All right, that's clearly not fair. We're also going to hand them over a uh, a third round. Game of fourth round instead. A high fourth round, though. We want our left end. And we want him now. Lee Simonton. Should be a star. Slow dev. All right. You reached, even though he's an amazing talent. They just cucked us. He's still going to play DT, of course. I mean, if you're looking at speed versus speed, Huntley is definitely better. But if you're looking at talent versus talent, I can't tell. The carrying, Sullivan has that already. Screw her taking Taquan. Superstar Dev, 95, really, 95 speed? 95 speed for Taquan Sullivan. 90 Excel, 90 agility, 89 elusiveness. Juke Moon is not even that bad, and obviously he still has a chance to upgrade himself. Losingness of 89, that's very generous. Not going to lie. You know, he had a B plus, could have easily been like a, an 85 or something. Now here, of course, we don't have any more draft picks. But if there's someone definitely worth it there, we might just trade away next year as well. Don't think we will, though. That's a bit risky. I'd say I hope we don't miss this quarterback, but at the end of the day, we really don't even need him. Going to take him, though, because he actually looks like one of the best steel QBs I've ever seen, and I want to be a part of that. So here we are, Jackson Larson. Quick dev, 76 overall. Like I said, one of the biggest steals I've ever seen. And he's supposed to go mid-seventh, and he's clearly a, a franchise quarterback here. You can see 93 throw power, you know, 84 mid, 79 short, 87 throw on the run, 72 deep is really rough. But 78 speed, 82 excel, that's well enough speed. He's got some good traits, it seemed, as well. Don't know if there's anything else here that we could take. Here we go, taking a look at the recap. I think we did a very great job. The DN, I don't know why he's such a low uh, dev, but that's what they wanted to do. Sullivan, 23 years old, should be the starting running back. He has the most potential. I mean, easily a 90 overall by the end of the season. Jackson Larson should be a starter somewhere, and he's just not going to be. And then we grabbed two good guards. Really all I want to see now is the, um, the running back, and there he is right away. A.J. Huntley. Slow dev. Uh, don't know why he would be two speed slower. He ran better agility drills and was only .02 less. Don't know how the hell that gives you more two less speed. He had four better elusiveness, though. Agility was quite a bit better. Excel, I don't even know, to be honest. It's actually compared them to. So Sullivan. One less Excel, two better agility or a speed, four worse agility, four worse elusiveness. Clearly, this is the better of the two. Not even a question about it. We'll say, though, they were able to grab Huntley in the mid-third. So I don't know where Sullivan would have went. I'm assuming since that guy was slow dev, they knew something we didn't. So that's why they waited. Number one overall player was a DT, Tevin Wayne. To be fair, they did mention him, so kind of makes sense. Logan Deem, second pick in the draft. Not even close to as good as our guy. Really don't want to take a look at any of these players. We'll just go quickly... Uh, look at the speed and age on that, man. Jumping's bad, but everything else is great. Don't really want to spend too much time looking at these guys, so I'll probably skip through them, and then if we see someone insane, we'll look. Creighton, we figured, would be really good, and he pretty much was. He actually kind of reminds me of uh, Reese, actually. It's kind of crazy, actually. Corey Howard, the insane corner, and boy, was he. 97 speed, 92 excel. Decent, uh, man. Pretty good zone. Superstar dev, of course. 
What a talent. Oh, wow. Look at the speed on this guy. Oh, no. Cherry is 24 years old, which kind of defeats the purpose. But 88 speed, 90 excel at coverage linebacker. That's a really good player. Pellerin? What a weird player. He has no ability to make moves, really, other than juke move, which you can easily upgrade. He has great excel, rough speed. He's 6'2", but only weighs 205, and he's 21 years old. An interesting talent, I'll tell you. Last guy we'll take a look at is Gilbert Gray, who was on the uh, older side. Good pass rusher, though. Of course, coming off of a Super Bowl, I think we filled the team with a little bit more talent. I will say Bodine might be replaced. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, yeah, mate. No, who? Who's supposed to be on this side? Oh, Burgess. But, yeah, Bodine might be replaced by one of the rookies we grabbed because Bodine's only an 85 overall, and he's going to regress next season. Two good tight ends. Maybe gives one of them up for trade. Cunningham's an 87 overall with his, uh, what is it called, potential going down. Or his uh, confidence anyways. Great cornerbacks. I mean, this is a better team. It's simply put, we have to put our new guy, Simonton, at DT. Uh, 81 overall, not bad considering he has never played a snap. So maybe take a look at the free agents. There's really not much we can do to this team to make it better without becoming unrealistic. Like I said, Mar Miller still is a free agent, so maybe replace Mark Ingram with him, depending if there's a cut fee. So we give a huge steal to the Packers here. McKinney, Fedorowicz, and a third round for Blake Martinez. And you trade Tyron Matthew, Mark Ingram, and a second round this year to the Patriots for a first round pick. I think it's completely fair. If you think any of those trades are unrealistic, you do have to remember that the players I traded were guys that aren't real life. So you can't look, like if I traded a 90 overall Kaepernick, you can't look at real life Kaepernick. You have to look at 90 overall Kaepernick. You know, like real life Tyron Matthew found a pretty easy spot and uh, in free agency. Was it free agency? I think it was free agency. And he was only an 80 overall. This is 89 overall Tyron Matthew. You know, talented Tyron Matthew. Sign a rookie fullback. Let's go to punter. Sign a young punter. Oh, wait, what about this guy? Brad Wing. Now we'll go with a younger guy, Daniel Dyson. And then we need a couple of rookie wide receivers. I mean, we don't need rookies, but you know what I mean. We need some rookie talent, I suppose. We'll take some youngsters. But here is pretty much the starting roster. We get a little bit worse at running back, but we have a lot more potential now. We have great wide receiving core, offensive line. Benjamin's going to be taking over the center spot. Hopefully he can do something amazing early on so he can replace Bodine quickly. Ted, of course, is still a baller. I believe he was actually a wide receiver transferred to tight end. Blake Martinez probably wasn't even worth the trade, but he's a little bit younger than McKinney, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Ellis and Harding, hopefully they can have a big bounce back season or at least upgrade themselves decently. Jalen Ramsey and Harper are ballers, best corner duo in the league. D-line Simonton, hopefully can uh, bring himself up to fit the 90-plus overall uh, scheme, I suppose, on the defensive line. Definitely should be another playoff season. Can it be another Super Bowl season, though? Can we get a dynasty rolling? Oh, snap, we do have to re-sign Deshaun. Oh, God. Okay, it could be worse. In all fairness, it could be worse. Zach Cunningham, I mean, you kind of have to give him a deal at that point. In all fairness, we probably would start to look towards a different pass rusher than J.J. Watt, which I think would save a lot of money. I mean, there's no no question about it. You have to pay Deshaun here. There you go, 15.3. We saved a mil. Yes, yeah, sucker. To be fair, that's a real, I mean, 24 years old, playing out of his mind. How to pay him. Deontay Foreman I'd like to keep, but I don't know if we can keep him at this price. Of course, I did not worry about scouting because the AI will do that all for us. Playoffs, can we make it? I mean, we sure as hell hopefully do. We have the highest paid quarterback in the league and a great team around him. And, of course, MVP Deshaun. Ooh, 12-3-1. and one. I really didn't pay. You know, I seen we were 12 or 7-3, and three, and that's pretty much all I paid attention to. Tied the Steelers. What a clutch tie. Uh, Titans finished pretty strong as well. I believe they were the number two in the league, right? For the division. They were. Lead my example, Deshaun Watson. Uh, 45 TDs, 10 picks, 5,700 yards. Nice. Uh, Sullivan, not bad. But once again, as per usual, the rookie, rookies, uh, running backs never have a good average, it seems. Always under like a 3.7, 3.8. Uh, 
Uh, Hopkins was the only guy with double-digit tight, end, uh, tight ends touchdowns. Tryon was very close. Nine touchdowns, 1,400 yards. Really nice. Culberson sadly didn't even hit 1,000, but he's very close. 13 yards. Uh, yeah, 13 yards away, one touchdown away from two major milestones. Let's actually take a look at the sack uh, allowance. Uh, Benjamin as a center didn't give up a sack. I think, to be fair, the center gets away with a lot of non-sacks. Oh, my God. Maybe you can't leave him. J.J. Wawa, 29 and a half. Jesus Christ. Picks, Ed Vialdo, Davis, Ellis, Stroke. Um, really hope that gives him some XP. Uh, even Harding was okay, so please, for the love of... What? Oh, I didn't know Gallagher was a punter. Whatever. Whatever. Sullivan, no touchdowns are returning. Uh, offensive yardage, number one. Defensive yardage, probably number one. 10, okay. You, uh, scored, point scored, probably number one, right? Number one. MVP, Watson. I doubt anyone else was close on our team. Watson, anyone else? No. Defense player of the year, of course, JJ Watt. Not even a question. Offense rookie of the year, Sullivan was number three. We started, oh, Simonson is actually number two. That's kind of shocking. Watson, best QB, running back. Our guy did make it at eight, so that's, I mean, that's good. Hopkins is the number one wide receiver. O-line, all five, but one of them wasn't even actually our starter. Watt, wow, best D-lineman, obviously. Zach Cunningham, best linebacker. That's huge. Best DB. Ellis was number eight, all right. He's on the list. That's all that matters. Of course, I believe we have a bye week, right? We do, so we will advance one week. Take a look at our opponent and our XP. So the Jags, ooh, that's tough. This division is deadly good. So you have only 8K from Sullivan, but that might push him to 86, 87. Sadly, Benjamin really didn't get any XP. Yeah, that really sucks, actually, but at least Burr just got some. Tryon was pretty nice. Watson, of course, got some. Defensively, really not a whole lot. Ellis, yes, Ellis and Hardy, and like we said... I don't know what the goal is, but every once in a while you get both safeties of 35k and they become 90 pluses. This team is stacked. So they're going against the Jags with an amazing roster. Sullivan only hit 87 overall. But what else are we gonna do? We get his awareness up. So his awareness. Where the hell is it? 80 awareness. Ball carry vision of 85. Carrion's a 94. Uh receivers are insane. Offensive line, the center is a little rough, but the offensive line elsewise is amazing. Culberson is a great superstar. Let's take a look at his uh, stats, actually. How is that even fair? 6'4", 228, two years in the league, looking like a baller, man. True receiver as a tight end. Uh, great linebacking core. D-line's pretty solid, I mean, especially with J.J. Watt. Corn, uh, DB core, just completely the best in the league by far, so... Jags without Jalen, are they going to be anything? 96 to their 90, and that's pre-upgrade. So we might be a 97 overall team for all we know here. Bye week sets us already up in the divisional, and it appears we're going to play, if we win, the 7-8 and I believe 1 Broncos. I mean, this is an insta-trip to the Super Bowl if we win against the Jags. Come on. I mean, who doesn't want to go back-to-back -back Super Bowls automatically? Only three. Come on, lads. We can't be only getting three. Okay, man, I'm glad we got three there at least. Nine. Okay, there we go. Touchdown. Got the two-point conversion as well. That's what I'm talking about. A third quarter that I can be proud of. Come on, defense. Even if you let them score, waste that clock. Trusting in Sullivan, the youngster, quite a bit, and it's working out. Choking the drive away, but as long as we hit the field goal. Hey, he missed a 27-yarder. Nice. I love this game, man. Just like that, the game is tied. Now they have a chance to win it before overtime. Screw this. From the 42-yard line? I mean, I really don't even need to come in, probably. I would assume the AI would get there. Look at the offensive numbers. Holy crap. Underneath, Kading. I mean, that works for me. That, that brings us close. Do you just trust the running back and give him a handoff right here in the middle? Or do you take the shot to try on? Nah, screw it. They're giving you the lane. They're giving Sullivan the lane. We're taking it. There it is. I mean, if you as a kicker screw this up, you are dead. You know? I'm glad the eyes are. I don't want the damn kick. He hits it. 27 to 24. 
I mean, I'd even really need to come in. For all I know, the offense would have done even better without me. 27, like I said, three-point victory. Good game. Let's take a look at those numbers. That was unbelievable, the amount of attempts. 41 passing attempts, 26 completions. That's a pretty good game for a quarterback. 63 completion percentage on 41 throws. Bortles did technically outperform him, though. Sullivan, however, on 29 carries, ran for 143 yards, 4.9 on his average, and his longest run was 12, so that is just tough running right there. Receiving, no one really shined defensively. J.J. Watt with a sack, of course. Kicking Kenazar was pretty good, all in fairness. However, he did miss pretty much the easiest kick of all time in the clutch. Luckily, he redeemed himself. Going against, like I said, the Broncos, I believe. And it should be an automatic trip to the Super Bowl. If we lose to the Broncos here, that would be very unfortunate. You can't lose to these Broncos. You beat the Jags, you can't lose to the Broncos. 7 8 and 1. What is the overall going to be? Like 82? 85! There's no chance. Literally no chance. If. If this sim even gets within 10 points, I'm going to be pissed. The Broncos got to be pretty mad at us, though. They made the playoffs with a terrible record, and we stole Jalen Ramsey off of them. So I would assume they would have done, a, you know, a little bit better with Jalen. It's a little late. Good try by Tryon, to be honest. To the outside. That's a close one. Roby over there. Good throw. I mean, this offense is nice. Start of the second, they should take a seven-pointer. Nope, they take three. Start of the second half, it will be a 17-3 game. So, 14-point deficit for them. But the way I will say, our offense is kind of struggling, man. I don't know how many turnovers we have, but it appears probably in the four region. Fourth and goal, and he misses a small kick. What is this kicker doing? I got to replace him, man. We're winning by 14. Lucky the defense is, like, literally locked down. Let's just go to the Super Bowl. Like we said, it was pretty much an, a victory of instantaneousness. However, we played very poorly. Just from looking at it, we might have turned the ball over four-plus times. Let's take a look at this. Sean Watson did not throw a pick. One, okay, so what did we miss, like, 50 field goals? What's the story? Something happened, you know? You can't be close to the scoring zone that many times and not score. Ken Zaro missed two kicks. In all fairness, one was blocked. I would like to think that was the 20-yarder that was blocked, but who knows. Either way, back-to-back -back Super Bowl trips. Could be the dynasty right here. Either way, we'll play another season at minimum, of course. Can't leave you with that short of a video. Going against the Cowboys, that's an interesting one. I think we have a second or third, maybe even both, round pick from them. So the Cowboys, seven over the Falcons... Three over the Eagles. Uh, nine over the Vikings. So, very hard teams they had to face to come here. So, it is a little worrisome. We'll say 11-5 Cowboys. 93 overall. Damn, the, definitely the toughest opponent we've had to face. This could be a loss. Two young quarterbacks facing off. We'll see. Here we go. Three points. Ooh, down by four. Start of the fourth. Please finish this with a score. We do... Up by three. I mean, we're in an okay spot right now. And defense locks up. Come on, offense. This is your shot. This is an easy one. Super Bowl. Come on. There you go. Clutching up. Up 10 with seven minutes left. Defense doing a pretty decent job. Well, that's gone. <laughs> defense is not doing a pretty decent job. And offense really sucks. So, oh, Harding with a pick of 20 yards. Like, can the offense just clutch up for once in their lives? It's a six-point lead now. Defense, once again, having to try to make a stop. And they do it again. This time, the other safety. The safety bros come alive, and the dynasty is born. The Houston Texans take two in a row. Can they go for three? That's the question here. Elliot, Elias is... Oh, Jesus. Elliot shaking his head no, but what does he know? You know, he didn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> he lost. Very nice. I've once again heard that the highest overall player wins MVP, so that might be Deshaun Watson here. Maybe it'll, you know, maybe for once something will happen. Sorry there, Dak. Not good enough, pal. Not good enough at all. Who is our MVP? Is it going to be Watson? Is it going to be Hopkins? It's going to be a left tackle. It is Hopkins. All right, please be a decent. I hate this game. I hate it. 
<laughs> the game never wants to be realistic. It's always, oh, bad player wins it. Oh. So stupid. Come on now, let's take a look at the podium. Who's up there? Rookie running back. So and so leads, you know, somewhat leads us to the Super Bowl, I suppose. Had a decent regular season, a couple of decent games in the postseason. Not bad. Definitely not bad. Product of a team, realistically here. One of those safeties should have been up there, man. Those two safeties really showed up. I mean, that that would be such a cool experience to be one of them. Like, safety, like, you can pretty much say your core won the Super Bowl. Three picks on Dak. Watson had a nice, solid Super Bowl. Elliott went off. To be fair, it was off of, like, one big run. 70-yarder. So, Sullivan kind of played better than him, I suppose. A lot of guys in the 90s. Uh, defensively, sack totals. Watt had one. Simonton had one and a half. Martinez with a half. Cunningham with a pick. Harding with a pick. Ellis with a pick. Kicking. Kanzar, did you miss another one? I can't remember. No, he made all of them. Clutch because it was a very close game. Obviously, you know, three-point lead definitely changes the uh, the offensive mindset for the other team rather than a six-point deficit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change your mind a little bit. Nice Super Bowl win. I don't know who we have to re-sign, to be honest. We'll take a look at scouting, of course, as well. I don't think... We're going to spend any money in free agency unless there's a better J.J. Watt, which that's kind of hard to say the way it is. This is a pretty solid team, I will say. We did have to pay Deshaun, though, which hurts us big time. Dyson, the punter, really doesn't matter. It's a punter. Can't afford Foreman. I really can't afford any of these guys unless they're not asking for much bonus. Yeah, not a chance, Kanzaro. So I'm not sure how much money we'll have. Let's take a look. Probably in the 25 mil market, I would assume. Or the five mil market, you know, one of the two. The best player in here is Cam Chancellor. Last season was definitely a better. Oh my God, he's terrible. 79 speed. That cap situation is rough. To be fair, we do have like a few f draft picks that are pretty decent. So that might play a little bit of a factor. Let's take a look at salaries. I have a feeling it's JJ Watt, right? JJ Watt, 23 mil. And it's funny because if it was real life and he was playing the way he was, he probably would keep that money too. Blake Martinez might need a contract soon. Tyson actually accepted that low ball. I'll take it. I think Blake needs a contract, honestly, this year. So if he does, we might have to look for a linebacker here. How old is Overton? 22, screw it. 78 overall, quick dev. 86R, a little low on the hit power, but... He looks like a guy that should start, so we'll see. I mean, there's some decent players here, but there's just nothing that we can do. I mean, we, we draft them, and they're wasted talent. And honestly, even though we don't need a pass rusher, I think we're going to go for this one guy. Looks like he could be a nice steal in this draft. Uh, he has two different styles to him. Rashawn Lindsey, decently fast. I think he'll be a decent player. Really interesting here. This is very interesting. 70 overall. But with quick dev, what a weird player. Definitely a great steal in a user league, but here I don't see it. Um, definitely with that strength, you'd be fighting to make him a finesse player. 6'5", 247, 86 speed, 85 excel, quick dev. Good player, just really weird. I mean, I expect him to be kind of rough, but that's really, really awkward, man. It's not a bad pick, though. It's interesting. Got another insane quarterback. Even though we don't need one, I might have to just take him. I mean, like, fair enough with some of these other guys we were talking about. Those are early rounders. Mid, late fifth, that's clearly worth the pick. That guy's insane. He's even better than the last guy. Late fifth, take him now. Superstar Dev, 75 overall, 21 years of age, 86 speed, 84 excel, 90 agility. God damn. Where, where were all these quarterbacks in our, uh, our leagues that we were trying to, like, actually play? God damn, son. To be fair, I don't remember what Friedman was. Friedman kind of feels like a guy that would have been similar to this guy. Like late in the draft kind of deal. Deloach, late six. That's pretty much the last player we need or realistically want. Going to reach a little bit for this cornerback. Doesn't really matter to me. Deloach. I don't know. I, don't, I can't tell. 74 overall. Very interesting because 74 overall is like right where you would expect him to probably have quick death. 
Great player. Maybe he's built as a safety. I'm not really sure. Another uh, little bit of a reach. Dre Davey. A 78 overall quick dev player. Probably starts over the guy we drafted in the first round. Very interesting. One insane draft that just... We can't use all the players. It's it's unfortunate. Now, this, of course, we drafted five guys. Not crazy. But you look at the salaries. Every single one of them is making about two mil on the year. Uh, and the bonuses are not too bad, luckily. Overton, great player. He just got outshined by Davey. Let's just call it how it is. Davey is a little bit older than him, though, I will say. So that might factor in. However, if we're a win-now team, Davey should be the starter. Maybe, actually. I don't know. So Davey's one better speed, three better excel, same strength. Catching a little bit better. All those catching traffic is a quite a bit worse. Jumping, two better. Tackling, one worse. Hit power, one better. Block shed, five better. Power move, quite a bit worse. Man coverage and zone cover. So Davey's a better coverage player as well. Pursuit's worse, though. So Davey... I would say is slightly better, which is good enough for me when we're playing our last season realistically here. Don't care about the rest of the players in the draft. I mean, it would be cool to see the Saints guy, but didn't even need him anyways. So that's the offense. This is the defense. The only thing we'll see is maybe Davey starts over Blake somewhere. I, I mean, I don't even know. We'll see. So now the big question is how much can we actually save getting rid of J.J. Watt for the moment. So we have a 1.42 mil cut cost. But we will be... Oh my god, the savings. I would like to pay him more than that, but the game says 5 mil. I take 5 mil. In all fairness, J.J. Watt's saving the team. And he's got bank already, so... I mean, the way he's been injured, he deserves to pay this team back, you know? So we have about 45 mil cap space now because of that move. So we should be have a... Should have enough money to re-sign our players, hopefully. I want to see this Deloach. Like, I know this Deloach guy would not replace any safety, but I'm serious. wanting to see how good he is. 71 overall only, really? So this is actually the team we're going to be using right now in for the final season. We're going to have a better backup at running back, I will say. Receiving core is insane. Offensive line, I'm surprised Benjamin didn't do better. However, uh, the rest of the line is really, really good. Defensively, we decided not to start any of the youngsters. We will put them at the outside positions, though, backups. So maybe they get some XP. Who knows? Uh, D-line, same. DBs, same. So, I mean, if we made it to the Super Bowl last year and won it, we should be able to this year. Jarek McKinnon will be our number two. You know he ain't going to win a Super Bowl with the Vikings. <laughs> it's going to be an insane re-sign process. There's going to be like five or six Big names, looking for eight mil a year probably. And here are the names. So five-year deal from a 27-year-old. I don't know. Glenn Harper. Let's knock that out right away. Five-year deals. Ooh. Damn, our team is screwed. To be fair. So I think at this point, Ellis Thorpe, looking for over 10 mil a year, would be on his way out. I know he's great, but we have you know backups that are pretty much primed to take over that spot. Yeah, there's some really good players here that we're going to have to let go. Imagine if we didn't do the J.J. Watt move. So, of course, I think you have to get the cornerback. He wants a salary or a bonus and the bonus, <laughs> a bump in the bonus. Ellis Thorpe, man, a seven-year, $94 million deal. I mean, he's worth it. He's insane. But you got to keep certain players, and I think the linemen, I mean, you could keep them all, but is it going to be worth risking your cap for the future? On a linebacker that's easily replaced. I don't know. I think we're going to let him go. To the playoffs. Are we in it again? Have we made the Super Bowl again? All things we will have to wait on. Here it is. And three straight years. I think of Deshaun Watson MVP. I'm not 100% sure. Take a look at our uh, you know season. Of course, we didn't force win. And I don't think you need to see that we didn't force them to lose. Because if we go 15-1, I don't care what they do. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they do. Uh, well less in the yards. 5,000 almost. Uh, but the touchdowns, 57 touchdowns, 8 picks. Rushing, 4.8 per carry on 1,600 yards. About 2,000 rushing yards in general. Really good offense. Holy crap. 
Uh, Culberson, 13 away again, but he did have 16 touchdowns this time. Blocking. Wow. Okay. That's some cheese. J.J. Watt, less money, less motivation, apparently. Uh, still a great defensive season in general for the team. What a season, man. Gallagher missed 4 out of 12. That's really bad. Punting was... Was it bad? Punting was actually really good. Kick return, punt return was nothing special. Number one yards, obviously number one point scored. I don't even need to look. Defense number three. So was our running back on the MVP list? Damn, he was probably really close, though. Defense player of the year, Cunningham. Offensive rookie of the year. I don't even remember if we started any rookies. Best QB, of course. Best running back, number three. Okay. Best wide receiver, number two. Best O-line, four, five. All five, even the center made it. Flowers barely beat Clowney. Best linebacker, Cunningham. Got beat by Justin March Lillard, who was not best defensive player of the year, but apparently the best linebacker. Makes sense. So, of course, the bye week gives us a shot right into the division going against the Patriots. Uh, offensive XP, Benjamin, probably going to join the 90-plus overall uh, core of the offensive line. Defense, uh, really not a lot of XP here. It's all right, though. The team is still pretty stacked. Charles Devan has uh, got 89 overall. Don't know who Luke Dorsey is, but he'll be good trade bait soon. Offense, pretty insane. 90s all across the board. Pretty much other than the fullback who is a tight end. Defense, great linebacking core. By far the best DB core. Maybe even the best DB core I've ever had. Defensive line, very good as well. Specialists, 91 kicker, 87 punter. Could be a 97, 98 overall. Gonna have the win to be able to see it though, sadly. Let's take a look at Sullivan's stats now. 95 speed, 90 XL, 94 carrying, I guess. Uh, skills, 91 losing is with his plus two confidence. That's nice. 90 ju juke, 90 spin, 86 stiff. 97 to their 91, and that's pre-XP usage. Could be a 98. We'll see. I've never had a 99 before. In our Legacy League, I've hit the Cowboys to 98 several times, and I think even right now we're currently a 98. But 99 has is, is eluded me, I think, right? Starting the game off pretty nicely. End of the first quarter will be a seven-point victory. However, I think we did get the ball first, so I'd like to be doing a little bit better than this. 14-7. to seven. Start of the second half, we are up by 10, so that's what I'm talking about. Defense locks up. We're only up by three. I mean, they have a good chance. Ah, oh, they throw a pick. Defense never willing to let the game go. Seven-point victory, and that will be a win. Just try to toy with the Patriots a little bit, apparently, because it looked close throughout the game, and then we kind of just took over in the fourth. I think their quarterback, Phillip Rivers is their quarterback. Interesting. Deshaun played really well. Sullivan played really well. Receivers were pretty solid. Defensively, no sacks from either team. One pick for Cunningham. Kickers were good. Championship game already again. Let's see. Is it going to be the pay, uh, the Broncos or is it going to be a little bit better of talent this time? And I think we have our answer. It's definitely better talent. The Steelers, 97 overall to their 93. Winning this game puts us in the Super Bowl. Starting it off, how are we looking? Ooh, not looking too great. Left to right, of course, is us. It's 7-all. I don't know who got the ball first, so that's the question that needs to be known. Start of the second half, and defense is doing a damn good job. They do give a touchdown right at the end there. Ooh, seven-point lead. Barely barely leading in this game. This is a close one. Whoever wins this, I would say wins the Super Bowl. Start of the fourth. We're on defense. Up by four. Third and two, you got to convert there. That pretty much automatically hands them points. Only up by one. Come on, offense. There you go. Nice little drive here. There you go. Up by eight. Defense participating in what they call a lockdown. And this should be a Super Bowl. 15-point victory sending us on our way. Big Ben probably looking to retire very soon, actually. Kind of a sloppier game from the quarterbacks. But, of course, we have five touchdowns, two picks. They had zero touchdowns, three picks. Sullivan is a boss. Such a good running back. Defensively, J.J. Watt. Dominated the game. Safety uh, got involved. Not a bad game at all across the board. Kicker didn't even have to get involved. Good 15-point victory. You know, once again, closing out strong in the fourth quarter. That's all that really matters. 
As long as we win, I don't care how ugly it is in the first three. Is it going to be the Cowboys again? Is it going to be the Eagles? I'd say the Vikings for some reason. And there it is, the Vikings. Don't know why I thought it would be, but I just I had a feeling. 13-3. and three. Let's take a look at how they got here. I would assume they have the same amount of matches we did. Championship game, four-point victory over the Saints. Then a seven-point victory over the uh, Super Bowl contenders. And, of course, they had a bye week just like we did. Final game of the rebuild. It's 97 to their 92. Can we hit the three-peat? Three-peatus. That's, no. <laughs> Don't say that now. Coach wants 10 playoff wins. I It says 90%. I would say maybe this would be number 10, right? I would assume. Here it is. The soup. The soup or bowl. So this could be the time where it doesn't. There you go. Right to left is us. Clutch defense down in the red zone. Here we are. Middle of the second. Putting up a show. Oh, before Ab, it is a 21-point victory so far, at least. 31 to 6. 31 to 13. I mean, it's not over. Nah, it's over. <laughs> defense uh, doing pretty well as well. Look at the victory. The three P. One of the best rebuilds we've ever had. 41 to 13. Just absolutely dominant. And in the slightest, we'll keep most of the team for at least another season. So could be a four Super Bowl time. I mean, that would be un like unspeakable. Who could even compete with that? Who knows? Maybe this is the Texans' future. I don't know. Who knows? But hey, goddamn great Super Bowl. Vikings had Matt Ryan as their QB and still couldn't get it done. I know he's probably a little bit regressed, but better name than they had around any of the other seasons. Probably a reason why they won the Super Bowl here. Although he was a free agent. Maybe, nah, maybe they did sign him this year. I don't know. Tryon was the MVP. Is he really a 99 overall, or is it actually random and that guy was lying to me? Because I don't think he's a 99. I think we had him a 97, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, a win is a win. Very dominating as well, not even close. It was close in the first quarter, maybe? Like, the first four minutes of the first. After that, it was what they call not close. That's a nice win. I mean, I'm pretty proud of it. Can't be mad at all. Looking like a dominant team. Definitely deserve that win, I would say. And yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. Super Bowl victory number three. Dynasty and then some. One of the greatest teams ever assembled. Now Ryan got dominated. Sullivan was pretty solid. Defensively, Sendejo. Sack total is kind of weird. Two picks for Jalen. One for Thorpe. Thorpe. In the playoffs, the last two games kind of proven maybe he does deserve the contract. But I don't need to worry about that because the rebuild is over. Or the reload of the rebuild. We got that dynasty. Three straight MVPs for Deshaun Watson. Three straight Super Bowls. I mean, I think Deshaun Watson would be considered one of the greatest already. That's insane. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for rebuild ideas, what if ideas, experiments, let me know in the comment section. Of course, if you didn't know, I have a second channel. Probably in the top line of the description. Can't guarantee that, though. I've been forgetting to do that. So it's uh, PK or Plays in case you can't find it. And, yeah, hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, 